grungy chic, grungy glamour. In order to get that cool vibe in the hair, just try and work in a very random way. So the wave is very important, but sometimes the setting of the wave is a bit too strong and then it becomes a bit too glamorous. So then you use the straightening out to deconstruct it again. Monogrammatic skin, hardly any concealer, just where necessary. A combed up brow, kind of full, tough, androgynous. And then we went for this really dark, coal rimmed eye. Purple plum around the eye, smudged out, lots of mascara. Tough girl, she went out, didn't take off her makeup. Cool chick, exactly. I happened to come across a movie about Renoir. And he said the most beautiful quote, it was to the effect of, uh, there's so much ugly in this world, why not paint something beautiful? My idea is to do something beautiful and clean and romantic so that at least when you're wearing Rebecca Taylor, you can feel fresh and gorgeous. I had some beautiful prints that I wanted to use. Do you remember when you were a little girl, you press flowers and books and then take them out? They're very, very flat, very graphic, almost like a photo print of flowers. And it's like this beautiful marmalade color. And then another colorway is like blues and greens and aquas. We have one look that's all completely print from head to toe. It's kind of beautiful and wild. I think her show is always really great, very, very feminine. What I liked about this season is that she was making more of an effort with the hards and the softs. She was doing chunky sweaters with the tighter leather skirts, which I really liked. But I also really liked her fun with pattern. You know, the president of Louis Vuitton told me that if the 40-year-old woman and the 15-year-old daughter want to wear the same clothes, you got a brand, she's got a brand. Lots of separate daywear. A lot of emphasis on classic American workwear, like the Carhartt, like railroad stripes. So we've patched the railroad stripes, and I did this amazing denim that's punched with holes, so it's like a very modern eyelet, but done like in Carhartt pant shapes. You know, it can't be just beautiful and beautiful. There always has to be tempering it, like a beautiful top, but with something a little bit more tomboyish down below. It's a really nice time for my staff and I. You know, the best moment, the golden moment, is when everybody's lined up in first looks. And before anything can go wrong out there or anything wrong behind house, the girls look beautiful and you've been working on it all week doing fittings. And then when they finally get all their hair and makeup done and to see it all actualized, it's a really satisfying, rewarding moment. It's my favorite moment. <laughs>